Uh, coffee is a very interesting story right now. And um, I, I think we haven't seen the highs in coffee. Uh, I think it'll get more and more frightening. I think the roasters are not very familiar with having a market like this and will tend to make mistake and repeat the mistake. So I would think New York above three mm. and maybe a bit sooner than the market thinks. And I think Robusta looks ridiculously cheap. Mm. I think that does look way too cheap. I mean, I, I can see Robusta trading really much, much higher. Uh, I would think we'll see robust to trade at three thousand dollars for sure. And then when the when the when it's over, the collapse is going to be pretty spectacular in both markets. So the next real trade is not actually trying to get the next forty cents out of New York or fifty or whatever it is. Uh, I think you can be a long robust. I, I think the downside is super low. Right. I think Arabica, it's, uh, you can be long with options, but I personally wouldn't be long with futures here. Mm. And I certainly wouldn't be short the futures here. Because I think you could be taken out in, a, in half an hour. Yeah. Uh, you yeah, know, it's different being long at 150 to being long at 250. But uh, having said that, I wouldn't be, I would certainly not be surprised to see a trade 350. So the next big timing thing is really when you go short. And we don't really know the answer to that yet. You know, the, this this crop that's coming, uh, that's, uh, that's on the trees right now, there's a hugely wide number between the forecasters for the Arabica part of the crop. You know, I think it's like 37 or 42 or something. Mm. Well, that's a very big difference after the crop we've just had. So if it's 37, this market's definitely going a lot higher. Yeah. And uh, and probably will go even higher. And uh, that assumes that the weather continues to be reasonable. Imagine if we get a frost in July or August this year. You can't short it. So you can't short it. And you can't short structure either. So <clears throat> it's a very dangerous market. I think I think you could consider doing something. Mm. You consider doing something if this crop ends up at 42 plus and <clears throat> we're through the frost season. So then I think you could think about going short next like September, this September coming. Mm. But I want to be very sure that the crop is at the higher end of the numbers. And that will be a great trade because that trade will be all the way back down to one. Right. So that's my that's my analysis. Coffee. So it's a bit boring because I, don't, I think it's uh, it's basically too dangerous to trade. We just have plenty of cocoa. <laughs> I mean, the crops the crops have been good. Uh, they were very good last year. The crops this year are not bad. Mm. Luckily, consumption is very very good. But overall production is pretty satisfactory. I mean, they only you know Ghana has got a poor crop this year. Uh, but Arikos probably made up for that pretty much. So we have a deficit this year for sure. At least that's what I think. Uh, but probably not as big as the surplus we had last season. Right. Uh, do I think cocoa looks cheap? I mean, there's all these guys in Granica and Barry who all have a beer every night and say, God, cocoa's cheap. Everything else is expensive. Um, well, good for them. They might be right. I don't, I don't, certainly... Uh, there's no point in being short of cocoa at 1600 pounds. Mm. Okay, do I really want to be long of cocoa at three thousand dollars? No, so that's the problem. So, you know, I the industry also will want to maintain cover because everything else is so volatile, so they don't want to look dumb. And uh, we have the risk of the next drop for the next few months. So, and we have a deficit. Uh, we've seen the lows, which I think were about 2,200 or 2,300 bucks, maybe 2,400. Uh, we've seen the lows and we probably might not have seen the highs, but it, it is not terribly exciting. Yeah. 
Okay. So you can have a very big position uh, in cocoa to make some money. And coffee, you have a very small position to make some money. <laughs> <laughs>